An independent study comparing a wide variety of similar projects has found that job sites that are composed of unionized building trades craft professionals are far more productive and far safer. His name is Ed Murrow, the CEO of Independent Project Analysis Incorporated. His group was hired by the Industry Benchmark Consortium, a group of 52 different companies involved in the North American construction industry, all pooling their money to conduct research on capital projects on many levels, including performance. The IBC puts up the money, as does Murrow's organization, to look at hundreds of projects in the United States and around the world. The goal to see what works and what doesn't. In a typical year, independent project analysis will look at between 700 and 900 projects, a large number that allows for plenty of apples to apples comparisons on work that's being done. One of the things that we discovered in the course of this study is that in the United States, union labor was distinctly more productive than non-union labor. Um, some people, uh, particularly those who have an ideological bias around the subject, were shocked at the result. Um, some people who actually understand it a little better uh, were not shocked at all. Okay, so they, they said it couldn't be otherwise. Um, it didn't surprise me for the simple reason that as I looked at the results of the study, one of the things that was perfectly obvious is there's a very clear relationship between labor productivity and wage. As you might expect, this was not good news to those who champion a race to the bottom approach to construction, whereby they seek to win contract bids by assembling a low wage, low skill, oftentimes easily, exploitable workforce. For many years now, it's been assumed that such a low-wage, low-skill business model was the preferred choice for on-time, on-budget construction. But IPA's research has proven otherwise. I was uh, uh, delivering these, uh, re the results of the labor product, uh, productivity study to one of our major U.S. contractors and I actually had their executive committee and their president and chairman were there. And um, when I presented the result around the union labor, um, it got, a, got an argument going, okay? And, oh, no, that can't possibly be right. I mean, blah, blah, blah. Um, finally, the chairman stopped the argument. He said, for heaven's sake, boys. He says, they're better trained. He said, because they're better trained, they're going to be more productive. Is that clear? That was the end of the discussion. It's because of the Building Trade self-funded training programs that place the skills and productivity of our crafts professionals infinitely above those of the non-union sector. And it's also the reason why the men and women of our unions rightfully earn a higher wage. It's the old adage of, you get what you pay for. We do the job right the first time, and most people fail to realize that the hourly wage makes up only half of the construction cost equation anyway. What about the time it takes to do the job? You can't forget that. And that is where we differentiate ourselves from the race to the bottom approach through quality and productivity. We have projects done in the Midwest that are cheaper than the equivalent project done on the U.S. Gulf Coast, despite the fact that they're done with considerably more expensive labor. And that's because everybody understands that the effective labor cost is hours times wage. That's just wage. And the hours are what, what kill you. In construction, safety is one of those things that's easy to give lip service to. But simply saying a job is safe is a far cry from being safe. Nothing impacts a job more from a moral and a financial standpoint than an accident. The unionized construction sector doesn't just talk about safety. We preach it, we practice it, we live it. Our culture of safety is unmatched anywhere in the world. 
I think the way we have to keep up with, with demand is by training. Um, I think if the unions continue to focus on training and on, on development of apprentices and good apprentice programs, um, they will always command a higher wage for their work simply because it's worth more. Productivity and performance, world-class safety, all things that independent research shows tilts the scale towards America's building trades unions and the union construction industry. Research from people with no dog in the fight. Research from people who are just interested in doing projects as economically and safely as possible. The skilled crafts professionals that comprise America's building trades unions are ready, willing and able to demonstrate their skills and guarantee you a successful project that will bring you back for more.